Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to use one of the best online booking system. I'll be showing you step by step how to use simplebook.me as a beginner. If you enjoy this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Now to get started, all you'll need to do is go onto simplebook.me. Then from there you can tap on get a free account. And you can create a free account without entering any credit card information or so on. And this is one of the major pluses of simplebook.me and why I definitely recommend it to anyone. And you'll be able to get access to numerous features that will be perfect. It doesn't matter the service area that you're in. So once you have done that, you can sign up using your email address. Once you're finished signing up, you'll be redirected to a page just like this. And from here, you can decide whether you'd like to be provided with one of the simplebook.me URL or if you have your own website already and you simply want the simplebook.me booking widget, you could select this option. But from here or you can select I would like to try both, you can tap right there. I'm going to be selecting this option. Then from here, you're going to tap on continue. After tapping on continue, you can edit your working hours. So is your business open five days of the week or seven days of the week? You can select the different working hours, opening days. You can change the opening hours. So let's say, for example, our business is open from 8 a.m. in the morning. So we are going to be selecting 8 a.m. And we're also going to be closing shop from 4. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to go to 16 right here. And you can scroll right down and you could change the time for each date as you can see right here. So we could do that real quick. We could go to 8 for each one. And then you could change it to 16 for each one. You can also add in breaks if you want by tapping on add break. So you can choose the time that you normally take a break. You can do that right there. After you're finished, you're going to tap on save and continue. Then from there, you can see create your providers, which is basically your employees. You can add a maximum of five employees, as you can see right here. So you could enter their name. Then you could tap on this page, create your services. And from here, you can enter your service name. So you can scroll down and you can see the different suggestions right here. Or you can simply add in your service. So let's say, for example, personal training. I'm going to tap on that. Then from there, you can select the duration of your service. So you have the different options right here. Then you can also enter the price that you charge. So let's say, for example, $150. You can also change the currency so you can see the different currency options right here. So you can scroll down or up and you can select whichever currency is to your liking. After you have done that, you can add other services if you want by tapping on add another service. Then you are going to tap on continue. Once you have tapped on continue, you can see please select your favorite look. So this is basically how your website is going to look. So you can select whichever one of these templates that you like. So you can see the different options right here. You can scroll down and select any one of these options. So let's say for example this one. After you have done that, you can see describe your business. You could add in some basic information right here. After doing that, you're going to scroll down and you can also select your template color. After doing that, you're going to tap on submit. So let's do that real quick. Then from here, you can tap on go to your booking website or you can select go to your widget preview. After doing that, you'll be redirected to this page. So at the moment, this is how our booking website looks. So you can see right there how it looks. It does look really good and clean. So you can see there, now persons will be able to tap on book now. Then from there, they can select the time that they would like to book me and the date. So let's say, for example, 10. Then you can see here, they'll be prompt to enter their name, email address, and phone number, as you can see right there. Then tap on confirm booking. 
another thing that you can also do is you could tap on go to settings right here I really want to show you is by scrolling down you can edit any section that you'd like to change so for example you can add more services by tapping on manage services you can add more staff members by tapping right here where you see manage providers and if it is a case that you'd like to change any information that you have added you could tap on basic information then from there you can change the name address or anything that you want as you can see right here you can edit any one of these options and then you'll simply tap on save another thing that you can also do by tapping on go to settings so let's do that real quick after tapping on go to settings you'll be redirected to this page and from here you can see the different times so you could edit the time if you want to make any changes as you can see here so on this page all I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to scroll down until you see payment processors you are going to tap on that after you have selected that at the moment it is only pay later that is active but let's say we would like to activate stripe or paypal or any one of these options all you'll need to do is tap on the option that you would like to activate then you are going to tap on activate and you'll be prompted to enter your information you can do the same thing with paypal or any one of these payment options and this will allow you to provide these payment options to your customers so this in turn will help to increase your conversion now you can also go over here and you could set up your tax report and so on as you can see right here now once you're finished doing this in the future you'll be able to monitor your sales by simply tapping on payments right here you'll be able to view all of the payments that you have gotten thus far now we can go back so to go back all you'll need to do we are going to go back onto our appointment page once on our appointment page we want to go over to the left hand menu option once more on the left hand menu option from here you could tap on calendar and this is where you'll be able to view all of the bookings that you have received so let's close this pop up you'll be able to see all of your bookings right here and you can also manually add bookings if you want Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.